what's up guys welcome back to the channel uh, I'll show you what we got in store for today so today we're gonna go and open up this box we'll see what's inside it and um, we'll go put it on so let's get to this unboxing real quick actually surprised that this box or these parts came in pretty quick wasn't expecting that but it's all good I've uh, been doing a lot of content on the truck and nothing on the 240 and I'll tell you why in a little bit So check it out We got some new eyes Damn box. So I ordered uh, These headlights for my Tacoma from CarID.com and I'm actually surprised that they came in pretty quick uh, I decided to go for the black housing. Wow. Check that shit out. That is nice. I'm not a fan of the LED strip inside the headlights. So I'm a little conventional with my headlights. Simple. Just black housing headlights. And uh, we'll go ahead and put these on. Uh, yeah. So before we get to work, we're going to go put up the easy up on the front end or up above the front end of the Tacoma because it's freaking hot it's been hot lately and uh we're gonna set that up real quick all right so i got the pop-up all by myself above the front end of the Tacoma uh kind of sucks when you're setting up everything by yourself and but uh it's all right so here's the headlights that came with the truck I'll show you why in a little bit why we're replacing them. So that's that looks like a pretty decent headlight, right? Yeah, it's nice and clear and all that, but I'll show you what's really going on with that. And then this little bugger is completely a different headlight. I think this may be the original headlights for the truck. And the other one is some random replacement. But we're gonna place change these out. And I know there's a couple videos already online on how to do it so we'll just do time lapses of it and um yeah we'll get to work all right heads open and i'll show you why so as you can see here right here the the nice looking headlight uh, the tab is broken crap i'm gonna need a bolt for that but um tab's broken there so it's really not being held with anything um yeah it's basically the reason why i'm going to change the headlights but uh it's probably gonna be the last mod on the truck because um holy crap i've been neglecting my drift car for months on end and i keep buying parts for the truck so this will be the last mod and a little word of advice if you can't you don't have the time and the budget to have multiple builds and you have a daily driver, I suggest you keep your daily driver a daily driver. Because even though I've transformed this truck and I'm really proud of what I did, I'm a little bit sad that I've neglected the 240. So uh, we'll get to work. All right, grab some tools. A couple tools you're gonna need for this job is 10 millimeter socket, got my 3.8 drive ratchet, an extension, my pry bar tool that I'm gonna use for the clips, um, if you don't have a pry bar tool, you can use a flathead and maybe a set of long nose pliers that'll help pull it out. Um, and I also got my little impact drill, impact driver, because I'm going to make this quick. It's hot as hell. Let's get it. So first off, we're going to move the grill. There's two clips and then two size tens, and then it just pops right up. Alright, that was a little, little too fast, but it so grills out. Next up is we're going to take out these little uh, valences under the headlight. It's held on by a clip and then it just pops right out. Fortunately, this headlight with the crack bracket doesn't have a clip because there's no mounting tab for it. Alright, so next we're going to pop off 
the three clips that's on the top of the bumper just so that we have space for the 10 millimeters that's holding the headlight bracket to the uh, front bumper support. All right, so I just found out that this headlight's only held by one bolt. That's how fucked up it is. It looks nice, but it's fucked up. Check it out. So it's missing one tab, two tabs, and this one is also broken off. It's nice. So I got my LED kit. We're gonna go transfer that to the new headlight. Then um mount it back. Apologize for that. I was trying to figure out where the one bolt that is supposedly hard to get to that's inside the bumper. Where are the old ones at? Because um, you don't know where it's supposed to mount to. So finally found it. Woo! It is hot. So I decided to change my game plan. I'm gonna remove the bumper because it's a lot more easier to get to that bolt on the inside. I know on the YouTube videos that I've seen on how to take out the headlights, it says you don't need to. But I like to work smarter and not harder. So um, we'll go do that real quick. All right, front bumper's out. Now I have free reign of everything that's behind the bumper, all the bolts to get the headlights. Uh, we'll finish removing the other headlight, take off this bolt. Try to put in fine clips or something, because Fucked up two clips on the bottom of the bumper, but uh, it's all right. And uh, yeah, we'll put it back together. Take off the other headlight. All right, so I got the new headlights on. I left the plastic on just to protect it from when I Reassemble the entire front end. It's a couple things that I noticed. So yeah, I got the truck for a pretty good price. And um, I understood that there was some damage to the passenger side. But due to the damage or the accident, whatever happened, I can't really reach. If I really pull that, it's just gonna break that tab. Had a hard time mounting that point here and also this point here so it's not a perfect front end but it works it's holding with just three bolts the passenger side it was a lot easier to put on and um because there was no damage on this side but um headlights are on we're gonna go ahead and reassemble everything I might not put the bumper on just yet because I'm thinking about doing a little little paint thing to the bumper, but uh, we'll see. Alright, so unfortunately I did not have to find any masking tape, so I couldn't do what I wanted to do to the bumper, but it's alright, so I put everything back and um, that's it, looks good. Um, like this video, let me know if you like this kind of content in my channel, in the comments below, subscribe, that would help a lot, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next video.